Thanks, Tom. It's uh, 746. This is your home team here at Live 104.9. Hey, listen, tonight is the final night of the movie Under the Stars. That's the free outdoor movie series hosted by the Calcasieu Parish Jury. It's at uh, Prion Lake Park. Tonight they're showing The Secret Life of Pets. Uh, of course it's free. The show starts at 7. You're encouraged to uh, bring out your blanket and your chairs. Come on out. Uh, concessions provided by Gotti's Pizza. Uh, they, you have a great time. I was there, uh, I believe, last week, Sports Preacher. Uh, it actually was a couple weeks ago, and it's really fun. You know, you sit underneath the stars and watch the movie. Okay, it's 746. Y'all know what time it is. It's almost time. If you let him, yeah. he'll work it out, Tony. Even for you, Tony, he'll work it out, sir. But you got to let him. He ain't never going to force himself, Tony, but you got to let him. Let him in. Let him change you. Let's do it. This is the preach part of the sports preacher. We'll get to the sports in a minute. <laughs> Boy, you about to make me cut a step up in here. Well, you know, that's, <laughs> that's what you do. Turn it over to the Lord, and he'll work it out. All right, y'all, there you go. Live, right here. He just now left the uh, Mount Zion Tabernacle Church on the Rock where the fees are due every 15th and 30th of the month. It's the Sports Preacher. Good morning with sports. What's going on, man? I, hey, listen, real quick. I don't know if y'all saw the smoke coming off of the back of Tony, but I was watching us on Facebook Live. But when that song was playing, as long as it was going, all that hell was trying to be released from him, and it, it, I don't know if it worked. But we, 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 y'all keep praying. Everybody recharge the radio and just say, yeah. bless him, bless Tony Woods right now. Yeah. Anyway, speaking of getting blessed, we had 32 of our closest friends and family members, because we all related to somebody in the NFL draft, right, because they instantly became millionaires last night. Yes. So 32 of them have changed their family's outcome for the rest of their lives, hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. if they uh, maximize the talent and if they use money they get in their first contracts. Uh, the, the biggest shock of the night had to go to the Bears straight enough to get Mitchell Trubisky in front of Deshaun Watson. Um, Deshaun Watson, who wound up in Houston, as you talked about earlier, um, I think is probably going to have the quickest, biggest impact on, on this draft. Uh, the Saints, the Saints had two picks. First, they took Marshawn Lattimore, good corner out of Ohio State. Uh, the only issue with Marshawn is that he's missed 21 games because of hamstring injuries. And so the knock is, can he stay healthy on the next level when it's more physical and they play more games? So uh, that was the Saints' first pick. And then the Saints ended the night taking an offensive tackle, Ryan Ramchick from Wisconsin. And so it's, it's very uh, interesting to see what the Saints are doing. Many thought that the Saints would, would focus uh, primarily on defense uh, with their first two-round picks. But, hey, maybe they're thinking that Ryan was just too good to pass up on. So some more local flavor um, in the area. I know we got some Cowboy fans in the area. So uh, defensive end Taco Charlton from the University of Michigan made his way to the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, and uh, see what we have time for real quickly. I tell you what, you can go and check out the blog. It's already up. It's hot. It's fresh. Under every draft pick is a highlight video. So you can educate yourself and you can show to your friends about how much you know about who was drafted. So uh, so check out our blog on um, kzwafm.com. It's already posted. It's probably the top story that's posted right now because we just posted it a few minutes ago. And you can educate yourself about who who was that your team drafted. So we, we're very excited. Uh, Leonard Fournette, mm -hmm. uh, I was hoping that before they signed Peterson, Tony, I was hoping Fournette would kind of make his way to the Saints. I thought it would yeah. just be a great story. Mm -hmm. uh, look, Fournette is a monster. He is he is all that he's hyped up to be, uh, and he gave a lot of credit to his father last night. And, and I, I thought that was great because it fights against the image of, you know, the black father not being around. And right. and a lot of the draft picks talked about how their fathers were very integral in their lives. And so so Leonard Fournette was crediting his father for all the, all the success that he had. So. So big, big ups to him going to Jacksonville at number four. Yeah, and uh, yesterday will probably be the last time we hear from him because going to Jacksonville is like going to Siberia. Well, I tell you, though, know, Jacksonville, I had, they, they've had some really good drafts these past two or three years. They may be trying to turn around if they can get a, if they get stability at the quarterback position. So. Yeah, well, every year I hear it's Jacksonville, it's Jacksonville, and it's another 4-12, and 3-13 and 13 season. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, as long as the Steelers and the Patriots stay healthy, no one, no one is coming out, coming out the AFC but those two teams. Right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Texans. Uh, if you missed it, Texans picked up the uh, national championship quarterback Deshaun Watson. We Beast. expect him to uh, probably start 
I, week one? Yes, and a lot of Texans fans are surprised that they took a black quarterback. So yeah. we'll get into that a little bit later in the show. All right, no problem. All right, y'all, it's just about nine minutes before 8 o'clock. Thanks for stopping by. Back to time on Live 104.9.